Your entire life can really change in a year. You just have to love yourself enough to know you deserve more, be brave enough to demand more, and be disciplined enough to actually work for more. friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are a subscriber welcome back this video is going to be all things running I'm gonna take you through all literally all of my running essentials I'm gonna show you guys all my running shoes my watch headphones things I consume before during after my runs like the clothes that I wear on my runs literally all my running essentials we're just gonna go through and then I'm gonna bring you along with me for my long run on Saturday which you're very very used to the first things I want to talk to you about is gadgets my watch during my runs and my headphones so this is my watch this is the Garmin Vivo Active 5 I used to have the Apple watch no once you get into running for real, maybe especially in longer distances, you cannot do the Apple Watch. Y'all, that watch does not last. It dies. It will die in the middle of your run. No. This, Garmin's are the best watches for runners. Garmin, there's other brands, but I love Garmin. Though, your charge lasts a week. Like, I'm not even kidding. I, I don't, I charge this watch once a week. Once a week. You know, it's it's probably one of the best watches ever. Another reason why I got it is because it tracks your sleep. It tells you like your body battery, your sleep score, all of that. So for example, I just woke up. The first thing it tells me is my body battery, my sleep score. I slept six hours and 37 minutes. Terrible, but it is what it is. In intensity minutes, I think that's just how my how many intensity minutes of working out I've done throughout the week. And then it gives me a little message make today great so that that's some of the message it gives me every morning it's at 78 percent i charged it maybe this past saturday today is wednesday so just a great it tracks your steps everything you can record your workouts of course your runs your lifts everything it has most activities on it I highly recommend um garmin has multiple types of watches and this is probably one of this on the cheaper side of garmin I think I paid $250 for this one, which is cheaper than an Apple Watch, by the way. So I think it's worth it. It's a great watch because Apple Watch, the best way I could describe it, Apple Watch is more of a lifestyle watch. It's a lifestyle watch with fitness features. Garmin is a fitness watch with lifestyle features. That's one of the best ways I could describe it. I highly recommend a Garmin watch if you want to get into running or if you eventually want to get into long distance running. When I first started running and I didn't know a darn thing, I was using these to run. This is all I had. I made it work. This is why I tell y'all when it comes to running, all you need is what you have because you just got to start. And this is what I had, so this is what I started. I need my music, okay? I need my music. I wasn't going to let anything stop me from having my music and that's just, I didn't know that that was just too much for running, but I used that for months before I finally got shocks. I worked with shocks. They sent me these and I just had to do a video for them. Little did I know that they were going to change my life. Little did I know that they were going to change my life. Y'all, these are the best headphones. The best headphones. Like, you can use these at the gym, too. Personally, I wouldn't use them at the gym because they're open ears, so you'll end up listening to the music that's at the gym as well. But when it comes to running, walking, just, like, activities like that, y'all, these are the best headphones ever. You can, if you don't want to put them on, you can just put them around your, your neck like this. But they're just open ear, so you just put them over your ears. And they sit at the temple of your ears. And the music is just playing. Nobody else can hear it, by the way. You're the only one that can hear it, but it's just such a dope concept, especially for my girls. Like, we got to be safe, especially since me, I'm running hella early in the morning. Like, my girls, especially the ones that go work out early in the morning, later, even during the day, like, we need to stay safe. We need to be aware of our surroundings. Those headphones I just showed y'all, that did not allow me to be aware of my surroundings. Those are, you can't hear a darn thing with those headphones. These headphones, 
you can hear your music plus you can hear what's going on around you it's the best invention ever somebody asked me can you hear yourself breathing i still can't it's my my music is at full volume i can't hear myself breathing still even the fact despite the fact that my ears are wide open best headphones ever if you're going to invest into any headphones as you're starting out your running journey please let it be shocks i have no other recommendation for you other than shocks headphones these also have an amazing charge. I don't know how many hours they last, but they last quite a long time. They're all on my long runs, plus longer. And they don't take long to charge. So if you're like, oh darn, I forgot to charge my headphones, you can put them on the charge real quick. I think like five, five or 15 minutes or something gives you like a two hour charge. So they are just amazing headphones. They come with a little case. Highly, highly, highly recommend. This is what you're always gonna see me wearing on my runs. My next running essential is of course clothing because we gotta wear clothes, of course, when we're running. If you see me wearing anything, it's always gonna be Honor Active. Yep, love me some Honor Active. I work with Honor Active. Favorite fitness brand, quality clothing. Let me show you what I wear on my runs typically. So if you see me wearing leggings on my run, it's typically going to be the effortless legging. These leggings are durable, quality, they make you look good, they make your butt look good, they make your body look good. I don't got anything else to say. They're just great leggings. I am a size medium in Honor Active leggings and I wear the regular length. I don't wear, they because they come in lengths by the way. That's another thing that I love so much about Honor Active caters to short women average women tall women everything they have the short length the regular length and they have the tall length so you'll always find your match for leggings this is another type of legging from our active that you'll see me wearing this is the unified leggings unified leggings are a bit more performance based so they are maybe a little bit better for runs because they just they stay up i mean all honor active leggings for me stay up really really nice I, they never fold when i'm running um, but these ones are really cinched so they'll stay up for real for real um, but these are the unified leggings that's another collection that i love again medium regular length yes and then and as of recently, if you've watched my videos, I just discovered that they have cycling shorts on the website. I'm not going to talk to you about any type of running shorts because I can't wear them because I chafe too much and it's uncomfortable. Absolutely not. So I just found out Honor Active has cycling shorts and that's been my biggest hack because it's hot. I don't always want to wear leggings. I want to wear shorts sometimes. I found that they have cycling shorts. I'm literally wearing them right now so I can show you the length. These are cycling shorts. They go like really really down they can probably go even further they're great so when you're running you don't have to worry about chafing but you can still wear your shorts effortless collection so very flattering and yeah so those are the other bottoms that i wear on my runs this color is evergreen that i just showed you guys leggings to evergreen this is midnight blue when it comes to sports bras, I love the everyday sports bra from Honor Active. Um, I don't have a big chest, so it's not something I really worry about when it comes to support, but it still is a supportive bra. Wearing it right now, these are the ones I typically get when I get my clothes. I get I ask for everyday sports bra. I just love these bras so much. They're very, very supportive. They're not too revealing either, so when I do want to not wear a top, they're not showing too much, so I really, really do like that my favorite bras i literally have them in so many colors my favorite very supportive very cute very colorful and when it comes to my favorite tops again wearing one right now but i really love the go-to seamless tops very very performance based super light super thin so i guess i'm wearing a long sleeve right now despite the fact that it's just so hot out here these days but it's fine because they're they're so thin they're perfect for running i have a few colors so i have this color in moonstone blue um so i have this one and then i have this gray one i think this is light gray or something but go to seamless tops love these tops perfect for running and performance and like I said, I work with Honor Active. I am an affiliate for them. So if you want to support me, I always leave my support link in my bio. You can shop through that link. 
when you shop through that link it supports me directly and it helps me develop a better relationship with honor active since we are working hard to be an athlete for honor active one day so things like that you guys shopping through my link that's like the best way you can support me um so it's right there it's always in my bio my honor active support link and you can shop through there do your thing if you want to with that being said i do appreciate all of y'all that have been shopping through the link i see the support so much and i really really appreciate it and i love you guys times a million thank you so much for shopping through that link i really 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 appreciate it i understand because the clothes are so cute you can't even resist y'all especially because i'm wearing a new color every other day you can't even resist to not shop you can't resist on our active and once you start buying on our active you won't stop because it's just so cute so again you can shop through my link thank you so much i really appreciate it all right, so let's talk about fuel for running. So for shorter distance runs, I typically don't have anything before my runs, and I'm talking like three, four, five miles. I don't need anything for that. But when it comes to anything over like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I need something beforehand. Yep, I need something before my run. I, I need to be fueled, I need those carbs so that I can have energy throughout the run. Y'all already know, I love my mush. This is overnight oats, comes in so many different flavors. If you like oatmeal, you should like this. You should have like at least one of the flavors. They come in so many flavors. This is the strawberry. It's just the perfect amount of carbs and it's not too heavy. So I can have it 30 to hour before my long run and I won't feel it in my stomach. So I, I believe it gives me the perfect amount of energy. Let me show you some of the other flavors that they have. They have so many different flavors. You have to find at least one that you like. Uh, dark chocolate, maple cinnamon, apple cinnamon, peanut butter chocolate, and they have regular peanut butter as well, vanilla bean, and I know they have blueberry. Blueberry is one of my favorites. But yeah, that's my favorite thing to have before my long runs. Always gonna be a mush. Let me show you intra run. During my runs, you're gonna always see me having a date fix. Date fix is a natural energy snack. I do not like running gels. They have so many unnecessary additives and ingredients and sugars and it's just not good for my body long term so i like to keep it natural day fix is only three ingredients with dates water and whatever whatever flavor so the flavors come in original flavor cinnamon ginger and turmeric you don't really taste the ginger and turmeric for the other flavors i i always only taste dates so here's what they look like they're just the perfect thing they have the carbs in it to give you the energy. My favorite is the cinnamon flavor. I just love cinnamon so much. So I have these during my runs. I usually have one every three, four miles. Um, and they do what they gotta do. They keep me fueled, I believe, and they give me energy that I need when I need it. And I love dates, so they taste good to me as well. So Date Fix, highly recommend these for intra run. And lastly, for fuel, we got electrolytes. So again, when it comes to electrolytes, so many companies sell electrolytes with just the worst ingredients ever. I will never understand it. So these are the cleanest ingredient electrolytes that I found. And I also work with them. You can use my code ORIFIT for 20% off your Cure Hydration. Like in the name, Cure Hydration, it hydrates you a little bit better than just regular water can hydrate you. So I like to bring these with me during my runs. Sometimes I'll just drink them randomly throughout the day when i feel like i'm a little bit dehydrated they're very good they taste amazing this is a flavor i love this is blood orange tropical punch berry pomegranate they just come in little packs like this just put it in your water and drink it so 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 delicious clean ingredients like the first ingredient is literally coconut water powder whereas another brand would be like sugar or something or some random ingredient that you can't read so these are they're not the perfect ingredients but they're way better than the average electrolyte ingredients if you want to try them out again you can use my code orifit you can buy these packs you can buy the actual just case of powder you can also buy like the multi-pack that comes with multiple flavors so that like if you want to choose your favorite flavor and you want to try them all you can do that we love cure hydration great 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 electrolyte and super delicious so that's everything I typically fuel my runs with. Let's talk running shoes. First pair I'm gonna show you are my Hoka Banda 8s. First pair of running shoes I ever got. I have them in two pairs, two different colors. Hoka Banda 8s in black. 
and I have them in this blue and pink color. These shoes are always gonna be in my rotation. I just, I just feel like we have, I just can't let go of them. They're my first pair of running shoes ever, the black ones, and they're comfortable. They got me through long runs, short runs, everything. My first couple races when I didn't know anything, so I just, I can't speak badly about them. They're comfortable, they're great. I always recommend them to people. Um, they're not, I don't pick them up first anymore these days, but they'll always be in my rotation. Um, I love these. Let's get straight into my favorite pair because I, I can't wait. I just love talking about my favorite pair of running shoes. I've talked about these so many times. These are On Cloud Hyper Monsters. These shoes are immaculate. I don't know what other word to describe these shoes. These shoes are great for long runs, shorter runs. They have so much bounce, so much cushion. My times were faster when I wore these. They're just... On Cloud is slowly becoming just like a favorite running shoe brand for me. I just have not had a problem with any of their shoes. They're just always so good. But these shoes are my number one favorite shoes. These are the first ones I pick up when I go on runs. First one I talk about to people when they ask me my favorite running shoe. Love these real, real bad. I guess we can continue on the On Cloud trend. These are the On Cloud Cloud Boom 3s, I believe. These shoes, what they look like. These shoes are made for speed, they are made for races. I think they're carbon plated, I believe. Wore these for the first time two or three days ago, my times were fast. I felt speedy and comfortable. I'm My goal is to wear these for my second half marathon. That's the goal, we'll see. But I can't say anything negative about these. They, they, are, they are made for speed. They're lightweight, very comfortable. I got a si half a size up, not sure if that matters, that's just like, what size they had. Um, they didn't have eight and a half. I guess so I got a nine, but it, it's working for me just fine. But if you're looking for speedy shoes for race days or just if you want speedy shoes in general, highly, highly, highly recommend these. Continuing on the trend of race day shoes, I have the Nike Vaporfly 3s, I believe. Very, very pretty pink and orange. These are also my first pair of race day shoes. These are four races. Um, they're not meant to put too many miles on them. They're quite literally made for races just like the the ones I just showed you guys But love these as well. These are my first pair of race day shoes I wore these for my first half marathon and other races can't say anything negative about them. Will I pick these up? Before these these are my favorite out of my two race day shoes I'm going with these ones, but I know a lot of people love the Nike Vaporfly 3s. They're worth a shot, worth a try. They're good. They do what they gotta do. These are the Hoka Mach X. These were my second pair of running shoes after my Bondi 8s. These were gifted to me. A couple of these were actually gifted to me, by the way. I'm very thankful for that because when I first started running, y'all, I don't know if y'all have been following me for a minute. I had like two pairs of running shoes. And I was like, um... Can somebody send me some shoes, please? <laughs> but I'm, I've gotten some, so I'm very thankful and very blessed. But these shoes, the Hokamok 3, the Hokamok X, Hokamok X, my times were faster when I started wearing these. Also very good for long runs, very comfortable cushion. As you can see, there's a trend here. Orin likes cushion. I like my running shoes with cushion. I need that cushion, I need that bounce, I need that support or else I don't wanna run. When I first started running, Running didn't start getting easier and fun until I started, until I focused on my running shoe and got a shoe with cushion that made me feel like I was running on a cloud. It's so important. That's why I'm, I emphasize it so much. Running shoes, get quality running shoes. But these are great, love them. Great for long runs. Um, cushiony, comfortable, cute, all of the above. Last pair of my Saucony Triumph 22s. These also were gifted to me randomly i'm very blessed though because they are slowly becoming one of my favorite pair of running shoes so comfortable as you can see max cushion like that's wild um they're very cute i love that they're almost white so they just look cute and they just kind of go with everything so comfortable perfect for long runs so much cushion so much bounce so much comfort love them so 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 much that's my little running shoe collection. She's kind of growing. She is really, really growing. So those are my running shoes and I'm thankful and I'm blessed to have all of them. So hopefully that helped. Now, what did I say is important to have right after you get the perfect pair of running shoes? What did I say is the next thing you need to buy? Running socks. 
running emphasis on running socks like i need to yell because i need to emphasize it i see too many people wearing those nike training socks for running y'all you will get blisters you will get blisters if you start increasing your pace your your distance you will get blisters it's because they're not meant for that you need to get running socks i was getting the worst blisters until i got running socks now i can go on my shorter runs longer runs i do not come back with a single blister on my foot so listen up here let me show you some of the running socks that i have the brand features great brands they have multiple different types of socks they have the short length socks they have medium length socks they have long length socks as you can see i really like wearing like the longer length socks the crew socks these are crew from features comfortable very cushiony never come back with blisters when i use the brand features great 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 brand these are just random pink running socks that I have from Lululemon. Also, just cushiony, comfortable, don't leave with blisters after my runs. Perfect. Another favorite pair of running socks that I have are my Nike running socks. These are great, no blisters, comfortable. Running socks are just made differently. I don't know if that makes sense, but they're made, they're just, I think they're tighter the way they're knitted so that your feet won't be rubbing together and like it absorbs the, the sweat. So there, it's just like, I don't know if that makes sense, but it, they're just made different. So they're made different than those Nike training socks that I see all of us wearing. No, running socks, running socks. Unless you want to get blisters. And I know you don't want to get blisters because they are the most painful thing ever. And they will prevent you from running because if you have them, there's no running. Hats and headbands. As you can see, your girl's always wearing a headband. How else are we going to protect the braids? How else are we going to protect the edges? That is the only way I can do it, I fear. And I love headbands. I love how they look on me. Some people be saying headbands are childish. I guess I'm a baby because <laughs> I will always wear a headband as long as I live on this earth and I'm working out. Because I'm a black girl that needs to protect her hair as much as I can. This one that I'm wearing is from Fabletics. I like their headbands. They're pretty cool. Uh, I also like these ones from Lululemon. Unfortunately, they are discontinued. I've literally been asked so many times where I got them from. I say Lululemon, but they're not on the website. They disappeared. Last time I bought them, they were on sale for 50% off, so I think they were trying to get rid of them, but I do not see them anymore, y'all. So these ones from Fabletics are still on the website. Just look up Fabletics headband. I'll try to find it if I can. And put these are the headbands that I really, really like. I also have this aloe headband, also cool. I really just like thick headbands. This one is also great, aloe headband. So that's it for headbands. Now for hats. A lot of you guys seeing me wear this hat when I do wear a hat, it's like a high pony hat. It's a backless hat. My best friend got me into them. So cool. I love wearing my hair up most of the time. So this was definitely a game changer for me, still protecting my skin and my face and my eyes. Target, 15 bucks I think. It's just a backless hat, Target and it gets the job done. And it lets you wear your little high ponytail while you're running and doing whatever. So, highly recommend. Vests and chest packs and belts and all of the things. Let's talk about it. When I use my belts, love these ones. These are from the brand Fitletic. I also have a code with them, Ori, Ori Fit 20, I don't know, I'll check. Or if it 20, I believe, or 20% off if you want these. Um, I love these. I've been really wearing my chest pack mostly these days, but I'm gonna get back into these, especially for my races, because this chest pack is not the best for carrying liquid. So I will talk about that. This one is just a regular belt, just has the zipper. Let's put your things inside um, and all that. These two, you have, you can carry your water bottles, and it came with water bottles. This one carries two water bottles. It comes with two mini water bottles. I really like this one. I use this one for my half marathon. And this one carries one water bottle. This one's good for like when I'm training and doing long distance runs. Like this, I'll probably use this one this weekend when I do my 10 mile run or 11. I don't know which, which one I'm doing, but when I do my long run, fits one water bottle. Really, really like it. People ask me if it moves, if it jumps around, it doesn't. That's why I like these. I just haven't been leaning towards them more, but I still do absolutely love Fitletic belts. I think this brand is called Merc. They had sent me this from Instagram. I just don't know what it is about this chest pack, but I love it. I think I just sometimes love something not around my waist. So this is also a great option. So I really love it. I love that it has two zippers. As you guys know, I keep my 
gels in here. I keep my phone in here. It's just really, really convenient to have right on my chest. And it has a pocket in the back as well. I'm not sure if people know that, but it has a pocket in the back. But it is not my favorite to bring on long runs these days. I put my liquid back here and it just makes it so hard while I'm running to get a drink. I don't want to like be worried about like twisting my chest back around trying to get a drink of water it's just too complicated that's why i'm going to start wearing my belt again just so i can have easy access to my water but if for shorter distance runs this is perfect if you don't need liquid or if you're just the type that doesn't mind t stopping taking a break and getting water but i don't really love training like that if i need to stop i will but I prefer to just keep it pushing. I don't like to stop because it makes it harder to keep going. So this one's just hard for that. So love this chest pack. It just literally goes over like you guys know. And I just connect it. But love her, but not necessarily for super, super long runs because I need my liquids, easy access. Let's get into sunglasses next. Let's talk sunglasses for running. I have quite a few pairs from this brand. I have maybe four or five. They were sent over to me, but I actually love them dearly, actually. Uh, so I got in a few different colors. It's like a khaki color, but they're just, they're very good quality. Whenever I wear these, people are like, you look fast. I'm like, yeah, I am because they're just so cool. Like I have these in green, blue, white, and black. They definitely do make me look faster and like a real runner these are from the brand knock around I've showed you guys that multiple times but from the brand knock around as you guys know I recently worked with Oakley Oakley has so many types of sports glasses as well and they also have prescription so that is why I worked with them they made my sunglasses prescription and I shared that with you guys um, these are prescription sunglasses very very cool these ones are also very very dope love them and I, the fact that I can see makes them even 50 times better. So that's all my info on sunglasses. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Saturday morning and we are running 10 miles. I'm actually so happy because I thought Venice Run Club was running 11 today. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that because I wanted to do 10. I know it's only one mile difference, but I'm very stuck on doing 10 miles today. But they posted and it's either 6 or 10 miles. So we are doing the 10 miler so i'm excited i love 10 miles 10 miles is such a sweet spot once you finish a mile you're already at nine i don't know if that makes sense but in my runner's head it does it's just a different mileage that i just love i am a bit tired but i feel like maybe once i see my friends hopefully they're going or i don't know i don't know we gotta do it either way so let me show you guys my outfit of the day today and let's get headed to rock club outfit of the day i think it's called the everyday bandeau bra it's the bra that you can like i guess i'll show you guys just just so you know it's the bra that you can take off the straps so it can become a bandeau very cute um i don't know if i'd wear it as a bandeau but hey you do you girl and then we're wearing the effortless cycling shorts this is coal i love coal there's something about coal that i just love um but yes that's the outfit and then let me show you the top i'm wearing i think this is light gray we're wearing the go-to seamless top the one i love um for running got all the things packed and ready to go saucony women's triumph 22 that's the shoes we're wearing today high ponytail hats knock around shades and black y'all already know the drill cinnamon today some water post run protein always we got two date fix and one cure hydration in a bottle a banana is also a great thing to eat before a run <laughs> to be successful. Okay. Hello, hello. We're so happy to be here. We're so happy to be here. She's running six miles. I'm running ten. She's getting after They're 10. running six miles. What are you what are you running today? 
<laughs> Me? What are, what are, no, what are you running what today? What are you running today? What are you running today? Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me there was a run club on there. I didn't know. That one's called On Run Venice. It's not by Venice Run Club, it's a different one, but I'll send you the info. Okay, because I was like, what is this we're running? I was like, oh, she's What running. is this one? I was like, she's running a different run club. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm not there yet. So this is 10. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Okay. What is it, 239 marathon? Let's go, guys. We're off. I have to do this. Now what? 9.25. Mile 3, 10.04. This is my first job. Mile 4, 9.57. Almost five miles in. Feeling okay. A little tired, but nothing I've never done before. Mile five, 9.59. Mile six, 10.26. Mile seven, 10.37. Mile eight, 10.30. Eight miles in. Probably gonna have another gel in a second. But we're almost there. 20 minutes. 10.33, all 10, 10.23. I really think I don't sweat when I run these miles. Like, my shirt is a whole different color. Chest, sweat everywhere. Hair done. We did it. 10 miles done. It's been like 20 minutes since I finished. Um, but I'm on my way to San Diego now for my cousin's birthday. So I had to stop over to get some food real quick. But run went well. I was a little bit tired. I do feel really fatigued these days. But I did it. It's done. Um, I'm kind of happy with my time, like an hour and 41 minutes, I think. So, not bad. I feel like I've done better, but also that's not my worst either. So, yeah. Anyways, on to the Q&A. That is good, y'all. A few of you guys asked me questions regarding running, so I thought I would answer some questions while I am enjoying my sweet greens. First question I got, what are the different types of runs you do? Like a Nike Run Club. Love your content, by the way. Thank you. The different types of runs that I typically do are short runs, which are kind of like a tempo run, so like fast, like two to three miles of fast or like interval. Yeah, that's like a tempo run. So tempo run first. Second, short run. So just like a easy, sorry, easy run. Easy run for me is like a medium distance, easy pace. And then a long run, which is like probably like a double digit run. Those are the three types of runs that I typically do. All of my runs are either like three or four miles or like 10, 11, or 12. It's very weird right now, but that's kind of just like what's kind of going on right now. But those are the different types of runs for me tempo easy long and then as for running programs i would recommend running programs like nike run club runna is a good one there's quite a few but nike run club is one that i always hear is great things about and runna is a great one that'll help you train for races and stuff if you're if that's something that you're wanting to get into somebody asked where where to get sized for running shoes. Good brands, already kind of talked about that. And what to look for, because I have no idea. Fair. Fleet Feet or Roadrunner, those are two stores that have running shoes that it's just all about running. They size you, like I think, was it Roadrunner that I went to that they had a whole machine that you put your feet on? They size you, they look at your arch, everything. Uh-uh. Back in action. Those are two stores that I highly recommend. What do you look for? Um, it depends on the type of runs you're going on. You just, for me, when I when you're first starting out, I think you want to buy a sh uh, you want to buy a running shoe that's just good for everything, that's just good for everyday runs. So when you go to stores like that, though, they'll help you find that. So just go to those stores; they're all over, I think, and just tell them what you're looking for. Comfortable shoes. If you want cushion, you want cushion. If you're looking for a race day shoe, tell them you're looking for a race day shoe. But 
but just be specific with your needs and they'll help you with all of that what to eat before a run i think this is personal preference me personally like i said before i only eat before long 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 runs but if you're the type of person that just needs to eat something i would recommend just like a carb something simple something that is easily digestible um so for me it's like a small thing of oatmeal it really can be anything just make sure it's not too heavy something that won't have you too full before your run but that will still fuel you and keep you satiated in some type of way um personal preference but to just go for something some go for a carb go for a carbohydrate before your run somebody asked about water intake how much before and after a run again personal preference just stay hydrated you just gotta drink your water I, I i don't really i can't really answer that question except stay hydrated drink as much water as you need girl somebody asked about breathing techniques form increasing stamina mental motivation recovery as for breathing techniques i got a few i got a few of y'all asking me that in through your nose out through your mouth and through your nose out through your mouth that's how i go about running that's what works for me um and then sometimes when i just i'm running and i'm like oh my gosh i just need like a big breath it's like a very deep <sighs> and through my nose out through my mouth that's the best breathing technique i can say increasing stamina definitely comes from just consistency and building up your distance that's really it you just got to be consistent you gotta keep going stick to your schedule be consistent keep pushing keep pushing your body keep pushing your distance that that's where stamina comes from that's what's helped me it's just being consistent and building my distance over time that's where my stamina has come from mental motivation again very personal um, you have to build that up on your own like I said in one of my other vlogs find your why why are you starting to run why do you want to get into running what do you want to do with it do you want to do a race do you want to be able to run a certain amount of miles just for just for bragging rights achieve a certain physique anything you have to find that why and just go after it and don't let anything stop you if you have a five mile run and you're fighting for your life in mile four you better put your head down and keep running because you're almost there you really will naturally as you run you will learn mental toughness because you gotta be mentally tough to be a runner. It's, it's one of the hardest things you can do. Running is one of the hardest things you can do. If you're doing it, if you're attempting to do it, I am proud of you because it is one of the hardest things. But I can say, since it's one of the hardest things you can do, you're, you're gonna become a different person once you become a runner. I'm telling you, my mental toughness, my whole being is just different than I was a year ago. I am a completely better person so much more confident i'm literally vlogging in public right now speaking to my camera if you would have told me i would be doing this a year ago i would have laughed in your face yes becoming a runner made me 50 times more confident and just a happier person overall a better person so if you find that mental toughness and you map out that goal when it comes to running and go for it don't let anything stop you push yourself push yourself past your limits sometimes not all the time and go for it recovery I have two recovery days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't do a darn thing. That's that's what I do. But there's days when I am literally exhausted, whether it's after a really, really long run, I will take two, two days off if I need to. I'll take three or four days off during one week if I have to. You just gotta learn how to listen to your body and know when your body needs recovery. Um, but also, this is why I recommend the Garmin because it tells you how many hours you have of recovery after a run or like a session so for example for me I went to the gym this morning I just have one hour recovery left so I'm good I'm good for my run tomorrow it literally tells you how many hours you have left to recover to your normal state if you're somebody that struggles with knowing when you need to recover that's why I recommend investing into a Garmin BRB we moved to the car to finish off these questions and then I'll go back to eat because girl those those bees were attacking me absolutely not a gradual routine to get your body used to running taking less breaks etc etc running and walking that's my biggest piece of advice that's how I started literally running and walking when you're literally just first starting out maybe run 
walk two minutes run 30 seconds like things like that just try intervals like that and then at some point after a few weeks months try one mile a half a mile walking half a mile running so just you have to just build over time and it's like it's at your own pace that's why i can't really recommend anything in particular i just can give like little guidelines like that because it's literally at your own pace at your own pace run walk run walk one walk warm-ups dynamic stretches before your run static stretches after make sure you note that I can't personally give you warm-ups to do because even me I google <laughs> I literally YouTube stretches to do before a run that's all you got to do and it's just very dynamic movements swing your legs back and forth things like that but make sure you know dynamic stretches beforehand static stretches afterwards because if you do static stretches beforehand you're more likely to injure yourself one of the last questions that I thought I'd answer your goals with running and lifting I want to be able to be healthy I want to be able to like what I see in the mirror I want to be able to feel good that above anything else other than that it's just completing races for fun if I have a goal time in mind cool if I don't cool just the idea and the act of doing races is fun to me I never want to put too much pressure on myself to like oh you got to get this time you got to do this, this, this no running is a hobby it's forever gonna be a hobby I enjoy doing it I like what it's done for me mentally physically spiritually and that's it that's that so my goal is just maybe to be able to build my distance over time like that'd be cool longest run i've done is 15 miles now so maybe to be able to do 16 at some point but no pressure i hope i hope that makes sense so just to have fun with it and to let it benefit my body that's really what it comes down to i love physical activity and i love what it does for me and i love to be able to challenge myself at sometimes but not put too much pressure at the same time so yeah so hopefully this video as a whole helped somebody i hope i answered some question regarding running i hope i cleared up running essentials and just the things i use this is literally the video i'm gonna be sending to people now if i get any questions related to anything running i'm gonna be like i have a running essentials video on youtube let me go actually enjoy my sweet green now without bees attacking me love you guys so much thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the, the run that i did everything i hope you got something out of it don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe all the things i will see you in my next video